Welcome back ladies and gentlemen. In this lesson I will be teaching you how to make an actual player game object that we will later on use to jump and avoid obstacles just like in the original game. Right now we are in the home scene, so let's switch over to the play scene. This scene is empty and we will be creating some new game objects. To create one simply right click in the hierarchy tab and you can choose either a 3D object or a 2D object. Since we are using a 2D game we can create a 2D object and the only option is a sprite. You can also have 3D objects in this 2D game, but 2D objects and 3D objects will not interact with each other, but it's perfectly fine to have them both if they are not interactive. Let's change the name immediately to player, and let's also choose a tag. Unity has a player tag by default, so we don't need to create one. However, if we needed to create one, we just need to click add a tag, and then add one to the list, it's very simple. But for now let's choose this pre-made one. Make sure you reset the position before you do anything else. We can't see anything because we still haven't chosen an image for our sprite. To do that simply right click on this little circle right next to the sprite attribute. And we'll be also using a pre-made sprite for this by Unity. It's the knob sprite and you should be able to find it at the bottom. Double click it to choose, and now we can drag it down a little bit. But this seems kinda small when compared to the original game, so let's go ahead and rescale it. If we click play now, we can notice that nothing is happening to our game object and it's not moving. It's supposed to be falling down, but it isn't because we didn't attach any additional components to this game object and it's not using the Physics 2D engine. To fix that, go to Add Component, Physics 2D and add a rigid body 2D to it. Make sure you have the 2D version of it. This will force the object to use Physics. We can increase the mass to 10 and also increase the gravity scale to 1.2. Everything else seems fine. If we click play now our object should be falling down. Now since we want this object to only be moving up and down, we can go ahead and in the constraints tab here, we can freeze the position X and the rotation Z. Y is the only axis that our object will be moving on. That's it for now and in the next lesson we will be making this object jump using a C-sharp script again.